Another helpful command is move, and move is the equivalent of rename, because if we're moving a file from fox.txt to jumps.txt, we're renaming it, and it's the same convention as copy. We're going to call move fox.txt jump.txt, and now let's do an ls. As you can see, the fox.txt has been renamed, it's really, it's been moved from fox.txt to jump.txt. And so move is the equivalent of rename. And so there we go, we have, we have jump. Now let's say we wanted to make a directory, make a folder. Well here in the graphical environment, it's easy. We right click and we can create a folder and it will create a folder and then we can rename it and call it whatever we want. In the command line, that's also very easy. MK which stands for make dir directory. We'll call it text. That's where we're going to put all of our text files. So as you can see, there is now a new directory called text. Now let's say we wanted to move those three text files that we created into that directory. Well, using the graphical environment, we could select them and it's pretty easy to select. You can do, and you can hold down the control key and select more than one file and then grab them and move them into the text folder. That's very easy and very common and something that's done in other operating systems. And it's also very easily done in the command line using our move command that we did a minute ago. And we're going to introduce the idea of a wildcard. So we're going to do move asterisk, which stands for anything, dot txt. And then we're going to put the name of the directory, text. Now, and we need to put a slash after the text to stand for directory. Now, it's important before we do this to take a real careful look because we're going to move anything with a .txt after it into our text directory, into our text folder. So you just want to make sure that you don't inadvertently move things accidentally. But in this case, we're okay. So we're going to do that command and let me move this up so it can be easily seen. And we'll do an ls and now we don't see that. But now we want to change in, we want to go into that text directory and make sure that the right files were moved. So here, of course, we would just double click on it and we've moved into the text directory. And here we're going to do CD for change directory, CD text. And now, as you can see, the prompt has changed. Look at that prompt. That prompt is now tilde slash text, which means we're in the home slash text directory. And we'll do an ls. And there are our three text files. And if we want to go back up a level, back to our home, here we can simply go up. And here we have two options. There's two ways to do it. Didn't mean to highlight that. We can either do CD home, change directory. Again, the tilde always means home. Or we can also do CD and then two periods, which means the the directory right above us means it means up basically but let's do cd tilde and now we're back in our home directory again very easy the last command that i'll explain here in this tutorial is one called less let's go into the text directory less is a way to view a command or view a text file and simply typing less and then the name of the file simply prints out the contents of that file to the screen and pressing Q exits back out. It's not an editor. It does not edit the text. It simply displays the text. That is all. So you simply type less and then the name of the file. Now, one or two more commands before the end of this tutorial are as follows. Very handy commands. The first is not really a command. It's a feature. It's called tab completion. Tab completion means you simply hit the tab key and it will fill in the rest of the word. So rather than typing less and then jump.txt, we could type it all or there's only one file in this directory that begins with a J. So we could type less and then J and then tab and it will fill in the rest. That will show us the, co the contents of that file. And then the last little tip, the last little nifty little command is using the up arrow, the up arrow key cycles back through previous commands. So let's say we now we know we're in the text directory and we want to change to our home. Well, we could type CD and then the tilde key. And we can also just use the up arrow 
to scroll back in our history of commands, and there's the command we entered a few minutes ago. And it's a very easy way to, to, to simply cycle back through commands that have been used previously. So that is a very brief summary of some very basic commands to move around, make copies, move files, change directories, make directories, and using less and the tab completion features of the terminal. And that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.